What's up, everyone? Welcome to the August 1st edition of FanDuel Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, use the code AWESOMO when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. You'll receive one free month of Stochastic Plus Platinum. You'll also receive a 100% deposit bonus up to $100 on that first deposit. We have a nine game MLB slate tonight. As usual, we're going to take a look at three of the top tournament stacks and three of the top tournament pitchers using the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool on the stochastic.com website. Starting with the top stacks, number three, the Houston Astros are taking on Nathan Evaldi tonight in Houston. Evaldi, or sorry, the Astros are projected for 4% ownership with a 5% chance of being the top scoring stack and a 2% chance of being the top value stack. Evaldi has allowed 1.99 home runs per nine innings this season. He does have a very respectable 3.33 XFIP and a 23.1% strikeout percentage, but this is a very dangerous matchup for him given how homer prone he has been. There's also a little bit of a concern here with whether or not Evaldi is at 100%. He had a stint on the injured list, and since his return, his velocity, his average fastball velocity has been down about two miles per hour compared to his season average. He hasn't been getting strikeouts. He's been giving up plenty of power, which has been the case all season long. So there's a non-zero chance that Evaldi is still dealing with some kind of nagging injury and it's affecting his performance. Even if he's at 100%, this would be a high upside matchup for Houston. But the fact that there is at least a little bit of an unknown here makes Houston look even better. Number two, the Los Angeles Dodgers are taking on Logan Webb tonight in San Francisco. This is an interesting spot because Webb is a good pitcher. He only has a 20.6% strikeout percentage this year. He has a 3.36 XFIP. He's only allowed 0.62 home runs per nine innings. This is not a pitcher that I typically want to target. And this game is in a park where I also typically don't want to look for hitters because it suppresses power so well. But this is an, a, a kind of weird slate where a lot of the more potent offenses are also facing pitchers that I'm typically not going to want to target. So when you get a, an offense like the Dodgers that is one of the best offenses in baseball, they have a 122 WRC plus and a 183 ISO on their active roster, and they're only projected for 2% ownership, they do become pretty appealing even in the difficult matchup because the ceiling is so high based on the amount of talent they have um, on their roster. They have a 7% chance of being the top scoring stack. And number one, the Chicago White Sox are taking on Brad Keller tonight. Kind of a similar situation just less extreme than the Dodgers situation. Keller is a pitcher that typically limits power, only allowing 0.92 home runs per nine innings. He has a 4.33 XFIP this year, which isn't good, but isn't horrible. Um, but he's one of the weaker pitchers on this slate that is facing an offense that does have some semblance of power. The White Sox have certainly struggled this year. Their active roster only has a 95 WRC plus and a 122 ISO. But based on the track records of a lot of these guys, including Tim Anderson, Yasmani Grandal, Jose Abreu, um, and, and others, Aloy Jimenez, uh, Aloy Jimenez, Yohan Mankata. Uh, we know that these guys do have track records of having plenty of power. So I don't totally buy into what's happened in Chicago so far this season. They do also have an implied run total right around five. They're projected for about 9% ownership with a 9% chance of being the top scoring stack, but also a 12% chance of being the top value stack. Now, before we move on to the top three tournament pitchers, we do have a new promo code for viewers of my videos. That promo code is ADAMMLB. It's listed at the top of the screen. Use it. Receive 50% off Stochastic Plus Weekly. This offer is available for new users only. But if you haven't already signed up for Stochastic Plus, use this promo code. Get yourself 50% off any weekly package. You'll get access to behind the paywall data, including the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool that I refer to in this video. So again, promo code at the top of the screen, ADAMMLB. Get yourself 50% off Stochastic Plus Weekly. Now, taking a look at three of the top tournament pitchers. Number three, Domingo Armand is taking on the Seattle Mariners tonight. The Mariners will be missing Julio Rodriguez, who is very clearly the best player in their lineup. So it makes them look a bit worse. They now only have a 102 WRC Plus on their active roster with a 20.1% strikeout percentage. Armand has missed a lot of time over the last few seasons as a result of injuries and suspensions. Um, but he, he's always had pretty good strikeout stuff. We don't really know what he is in terms of, of run prevention. He hasn't been very good in his limited sample so far this year with a 5.05 XFIP, but he has a 23.1% strikeout percentage. He's also only $6,500. Typically, I'm not really looking to pay down at pitcher on FanDuel since you only roster one and the opportunity cost becomes a little bit higher, um, but he is 6,500. He has a 14% chance of being the top value pitcher. He's only projected for 6% ownership with a 5% chance of being the top scoring pitcher. So if you can build a strong lineup around him, maybe get to some Mets, some Yankees, you know, teams in good spots, 
and then get a low owned cheap pitcher in Armand that does have a ceiling. That's a somewhat appealing way to go. Number two, Tarek Skubal, 3% projected ownership, 7% chance of being the top scoring pitcher. He has a difficult matchup tonight against the Twins. Uh, Minnesota's active roster has a 116 WRC plus and a 22.1% strikeout percentage. Skubal this year has struck out 24.7% of hitters with a 3.37 XFIP. He's relatively expensive, however, at 9,800. So he's going to be a difficult pitcher to get to, but there is certainly upside here. And Minnesota is going to have a predominantly right-handed lineup, I would expect. Skubal, despite being left-handed, has actually struck out 26.4% of righties this year, which is eight points higher than his strikeout percentage against lefties. And he's allowed a 142 expected ISO. So he really hasn't had too many issues with right-handed power to this point. Number one, Max Scherzer, $11,500, taking on his former team in Washington. He's projected for about 13% ownership with an 11% chance of being the top scoring pitcher. Scherzer has struck out 32.6% of hitters with a 3.09 XFIP so far this season. The Nats, while they are a below average strikeout matchup for Scherzer, with only a 19.1% strikeout percentage uh, on their active roster, they also only have a 94 WRC+. plus. So to recap, the top three tournament stacks, number three, the Houston Astros, number two, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and number one, the Chicago White Sox. The top three tournament pitchers, number three, Domingo Armand, number two, Tarek Skubal, and number one, Max Scherzer.